Hello everyone, my name is Heather Autumn and welcome to my channel. I was able to find this really beautiful antique-ish Baroque style kind of picture frame at a thrift store. It was $5 and I knew I could definitely use this to spice up my holiday decorations. So I brought it home with me and this video is gonna show you all that transformation. So I'm gonna preface this by saying that the frame is plastic and normally I would be using plastic paints to color it. But considering that this is for the holidays and I wanted to keep it kind of cheap, I decided to just use what I had on hand. I'm a painter, so I had a whole bunch of Liquitex paints on hand. That's what I'll be using, but I originally started off with just craft paint at the store. And I wanna say both are equally good for different reasons. Liquitex has a thicker consistency, which can be used for a bunch of different styles where the craft paint is craft paint and it's a little bit more cheap but honestly for this project that shouldn't be a problem so I liked the gold and I wanted that to kind of be showing through in some areas so I decided to go and paint the whole thing orange at first so what I had was a very vibrant orange and I wanted to bring that down into kind of a pumpkin tone so what I did is I found primary color blue and I started to slowly mix that in with the orange and what that did was it toned down all that vibrancy and made it a bit more warm and subtle. You can do this with any color. Just look up a color wheel and if you find the color that you want to tone down, see what's opposite of it and use that color to bring it back into a more warmish tone. started the detail work which was using the black to go over all of those baroque swirls and curls and really make that pop out. it's really up to personalization. Um, I considered actually printing out some old Victorian photos and putting it in there, but I wanted something that kind of brought the whole piece together. And again, like I said, I've been an artist for a while, and one idea that I had was to look up photos of this death moth, which is actually a real moth, and it has this skull on the back of it, and I decided to sketch that out and paint that instead. Now I made a real effort to bring all the colors from the frame into the photo so that it all blended into one one cohesive piece of art.
And so at the end of the day, for just a few dollars, I was able to get this. So again, I really liked how all the colors kind of melt together, and it's just one of those pieces that you can kind of put on a coffee table or on a dining table or anywhere really, and it just kind of brings that Halloween feel without it being super spooky or gross or things like that. I mean, if that's your thing, go for it. <laughs> but for me, I really kind of like the antique style and the fact that it's reusable and that I can change out the photos every year if I want is awesome. So if you want to decorate for the holidays but everything's kind of expensive, bring some cash to a thrift store and see what you can find to repaint or redo and make it into that holiday theme. So I hope you enjoyed this really quick craft and I hope you have a happy Halloween. All right, bye.